and the masters of the universe. I am Adam, Prince of Eternia and defender of the secrets of Castle Grayskull. This is Cringer, my fearless friend. Fabulous secret powers were revealed to me the day I held aloft my magic sword and said, By the power of Grayskull! became the mighty battle cat and I became He-Man, the most powerful man in the universe. Only three others share this secret. Our friends, the Sorceress, Man-at-Arms, and Orko. Together we defend Castle Grayskull from the evil forces of Skeletor. Just don't disappear. Well, this one did. Well, think, Orko. Think. Where was the book when you last saw it? I put it right there. It was all about unicorns with lots of pictures. It was Adam's birthday present. What am I going to do? His birthday is tomorrow. I'd help you look, but it's time for Adam's gym lesson. Who would steal a book about unicorns? I'll show you again. Grab, pull up, grab, pull up. It's easy. Look out below! If I can do it, you can do it. But you're as nimble as a cat. No, 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 not all cats are nimble. You, you, you'd never catch me trying that. Come on, Adam. All right, well, all right, one more time. Oh, it's too painful to watch. You mean all of them gone? Yes, my lord, all the books in the ancient archives have disappeared. Come now, Professor Smolin. Are you sure you're not, not getting, well, uh, forgetful? A big pardon, sire. I, I do misplace my glasses sometimes, and I, I don't always remember if I've had lunch or not, but I don't lose books. Duncan, Adam, something terrible has happened. What is it, Father? All of the kingdom's great books have disappeared. They, they've simply vanished. Poof! Including the books in the archives. They're, they're all gone. This is a terrible loss. Those books contain all the lore and knowledge of our people. And all the great scientific discoveries and inventions. And the wonderful stories. How will we live without the great books? Very poorly, I fear. I smell an evil plot. Time for He-Man. Speak up. What did you say, Duncan? Uh, I said, Sire, uh, we must find He-Man. Indeed we must, Duncan, and as soon as possible. Father, uh, Professor Smolin, if you'll excuse me, I, I have something important to do. I'm afraid my son doesn't take this problem seriously. We must find those books. Uh, can't it wait? I've, I've plans for a cat nap. Uh oh. By the power of Grayskull! <laughs> Battle Cat. We have to get to the Sorceress. See, I told you I didn't misplace the book. It disappeared. Disappeared like all the other books in the kingdom. Well, I'd sure like to find out who took them. I'd make them regret it. How? Why, I, I, I think of something. Well, I'm going to find the books. Want to come along? Do I ever? 
Let's go. We'll take the south road. All right, but, but why? Because of this. I found this book next to the road this morning. Well, what are we waiting for? Come on, let's go. <laughs> How terribly clever of me to take the books. When the people of Eternia find out, they will force the king to step down, and they will name me Brilliant Batros, the Emperor of all Eternia. <laughs> Batros, he's someone I could almost respect. <laughs> if Batros is so smart, how come he stole the books instead of the gold and the jewels? <laughs> because unlike you, Batros has a brain. What he has taken is more precious than gold or jewels. Books. Of course, you worthless hunk of fur. Books are the real treasures of the world. Bring him to me. Now? Yes, now, dummy. I can use his clever brain to help me, once and for all, to capture Grayskull and its secrets. <sighs> I'll get right on it. You'd better take Trapjaw with you. You might get lost by yourself, Furbag. Soon. Soon. What is He-Man doing at Grayskull? I can help you, He-Man. Books are knowledge, and that is too precious to lose. Your answer lies at the end of the South Road, at the Temple of the Sun. Thank you, Sorceress. But be careful. Batros is there, and he can be clever and dangerous. Batros? But I thought he stayed only on the dark side of Eternia. He has come with a thirst for power. Let's go, Battle Cat. We have a date with Batros. Boy, I hope we're going in the right direction. All those books will have to be buried someplace, or maybe in a building, or, or maybe... Look! The Temple of the Sun! I bet they're in there! Come on! Hmm, no books here either. Nothing. And, and that was the last room. I guess the books aren't here. And I was so sure. Are you all right? <laughs> yes! The books, you found them? I've never seen so many books in my life. We have to get back to the palace and tell the king we found them. You go. I have to find a unicorn book. Oh, thank goodness they're not damaged. If you like the books so much, you can just stay with them until I figure out what to do with you. Beast Man and Trap Jaw should be getting to the Temple of the Sun soon. He-Man! Looks as if he's going to the Temple of the Sun too. I better slow him up. Do what I tell you, Desert Sand, for you are under my command. <laughs> We caught a nice tailwind, Battle Cat. It should help speed things along. It's time to blow out of here, Battle Cat. That big wind's coming back for more. Let's make a mud pie. That sure dampened its spirit. You 
think you're so smart, He-Man. I only wanted to slow you down. <laughs> A unicorn book has to be here someplace. Even if you find the book, it won't do you much good unless we find a way out of here. You fools had better realize that I, Batros, will soon rule Eternia. I order you two to bow down before me or to face the consequences. Bow to you? Ha! Huh, never! Not on your life, Batbrain! Who are you? <laughs> Sorry to interrupt, but Skeletor wants to see you. I don't like the way he invites me. Yeah, you're a rotten shot, Batros. Really? Look again, Rusthead. You should have asked me nicely, but the fact is, I want to see Skeletor, so you can lead the way. <laughs> Take it easy. Go get him, snakes! Look! Now they're roped. Well, Batros has to work a little on that trick. Yeah, yeah, I, I have some tricks of my own. <laughs> oh, I've been waiting a long time for this. Quick, Orko! Now, Orko! <laughs> Really mad. Let me, Tila. Let me out of here. Hey. We better warn He Man about Skeletor. And tell him we found the books. What's the matter? The book. The unicorn book. I gotta go back. No, Orko, it's too dangerous. You go on ahead. I'll catch up with you. No, I'll go back with you. I believe your mouth is getting a little rusty. <laughs> when I get out of this, I'm gonna show you, rusty, a rotten little pest. Sticks and stones will break my bones and... Hey, here it is! It's my unicorn book! Come on, let's get out of here! <laughs> I found this one away from home. I thought I'd bring him back to you. <laughs> I'm considering putting him on a leash. I'm here because I think you might be able to serve my purposes. You will serve my purposes, Batros. You will do as you are told. We will see who serves whom. <laughs> <laughs> Your puny lasers mean nothing to me. Surely you can do better than that. Am I supposed to be frightened? More tricks, Patros? Or are you ready to talk business? You talk. I'll listen. I'll talk and you'll obey. You're clever, Patros. Unlike some of my servants, who can hardly think at all. You have a brain that could warm my heart, if I had a heart. What is it you want? Grayskull. And you are going to help me surprise and capture it. And if I do? When I have Grayskull and its secrets, I shall be the ruler of the universe. Then I might consider giving Eternia to you to rule. I have a plan. You see, Beast Man? Some use their heads for something besides growing fur. Well, well, if it 
isn't our old friend Trapjaw. <laughs> stay, stay away from me, He-Man. Let him go, Battle Cat. These books are more important. Men at arms, can you hear me? I'm at the Temple of the Sun. Yes, He-Man, I hear you. Tila and Orko are here. I know about the books, but... We've learned that Skeletor and Batros are mounting an attack against Grayskull. I'll go there at once. Come on, Battle Cat. <laughs> Well, the sorceress is watching Beastman Squad. We'll sneak across the moat from this side. And how do you propose to do that? Yes! There's our bridge of snakes. After you, my dear Skeletor. And turn my back to you? <laughs> oh, no! You lead the way. I hope this isn't a private party. <laughs> Take care of Beast Man and the others, Battle Cat. Maybe you need fresh batteries for your lasers, Batros. I think it's time for me to leave and take care of another matter. He Man, I think we've come to a party of the ways. So long, He-Man. And I do mean long. <laughs> you will never reach bottom. You will fall forever. <laughs> we'll see about that. Put, put me down! Put me down! Anything you say. Back to the dark side of Eternia, Batros. Sounds like Battle Cat needs my help. And I thought you needed my help. Good work, Cat. They're right in here. The books have disappeared again. We better inform He-Man. He-Man, He-Man, can you hear me? Loud and clear, man at arms what's up? The books, they're gone. They've disappeared again. Well, well. I think I know who took them. I'll be in touch. Come on, Battle Cat. This job isn't finished. <laughs> Do you have the feeling that we're being watched. Well, E-Man, did you think you could just walk into Snake Mountain? Well, I did think of calling ahead. Where are the books, Skeletor? And what makes you think I have them? Batros had an idea that the books would give him power. And you'd steal anything for power, even Batros's idea. Struggle all you want, E-Man. That net is made of elastium. It's not only one of the hardest substances in the universe, but it also stretches. You and your stupid beast are helpless. Easy there, old friend. Yes, I have the books. For all the good it will do you, they're right below you. But you can't do a thing about it. That's all I wanted to know. Now, Battle <laughs> I knew you wouldn't tell me the truth unless you thought we were helpless. I'll leave you now, but just so you won't catch cold. Let's get the books and go home. We have gathered to celebrate the return of Eternia's books to their rightful owners, the people of Eternia. And that's not all. Of course, it is also Prince Adam's birthday. Happy birthday! Happy birthday, Adam! Hip hip! Hey. Hooray! Hey. Happy birthday, Adam! Thank you, everyone. And here's my birthday present to you, Adam. Oh, my! I've been wanting this unicorn book for a long time. Thank you, Orko. <laughs> You're terrific. Yeah, I know. 
And thank you all for making this the best birthday of my life. Come on, Adam, blow out the candles. Uh, don't forget to make a wish. Oh, oh I don't believe you. Oh, dude. <laughs> <laughs> you sure have your hands full. Well, I have lots of reading to catch up on. Good for you, Orko. You know, when you open a book, you're really opening a door to a wonderful world of entertainment and information. Well, that's for sure. Now, I'm finding out all about science and dragons and sports, but mostly bodybuilding. You have a book on bodybuilding? No, but, but carrying all these books sure builds my body. <laughs> oh, Orko. 